Hello my friends, welcome back to Wings of Manx. Before we jump into All In, we have a couple extra missions to do. One that is actually pretty con- oh, you're the wrong thing. One that is actually pretty concerning to me. Uh, Haven's Fall is the other split mission, combined with Safe Haven, that is uh, pretty tough apparently. And we beat Safe Haven, but we did rush to these, so I'm going to take Haven's Fall very, very, very- respectfully <laughs> you know like i don't want things to go i don't want things to go too awry so i'm gonna try hard on this mission i'm gonna really really hope that i can win and not get exploded because this is a mission where you can catastrophically collapse very very easily everyone that has played it like your first time through for most players this mission was really hard and then when you're good at being fast it's not that hard anymore it's pretty simple but uh, whenever you add mods onto it, it's one of those ones that has the potential of getting absolutely crazy. So I don't want that to happen. Let's uh, grab these guys and start using them real quick. We want to blast the Broodlords first. What do we got here? Uh, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of tech unlocked here. Got to be very careful about that as well. This, in addition, is one of the harder nightmare missions, just like its partner. So we have to be careful there. I think we're going to try a uh, bio strategy. We, we haven't really used much of the Marine, honestly. And I think that the Marine is very good. And I think that bio is preferable on this mission as a rule of thumb. Okay, we drop these here. See if we can just take this out. The main objective has a lot of HP. So hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. I definitely cannot be losing these. But if we take this out early, we can drop some defense over here. Uh, it's starting to get overwhelmed. Come on, Zerg, just live for a little bit so our boys can take it out. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good, 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 good. That is enormous for the early stage of this campaign. And means that now we can focus 100% of our efforts on making sure that they don't take the bottom area, which is next, I believe. And these Sons of Korhal, they level up so quickly. That's one of the reasons I want them here, is just the fact that they're going to get everything set up nice and comfy in the early stages. And then we'll probably use a lot of troopers with them. We'll have to get some trooper attack upgrades. We're definitely going to get a couple medics. And... I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that it's okay. And we are not starving for XP. One of the things that's actually worth considering is letting the infested attack us for a while and just using them to farm early on. As long as we're careful about it, that might be an ideal way to play the mission. I know that sounds a little bit insane, but like any free spawn, Giving us XP is a huge, huge, huge asset that we should be taking as much use of as we can. If they're going to effectively cheese us with infinite free stuff, then we should cheese them back, right? It's only fair. I'm going to see if I can wait to 100 to drop my force conscription for defense. Oh, but it feels really sketch just waiting for it. Like... Uh, we're just waiting either way right now, but maybe maybe we go top. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I said it, but I don't like it. It's going to go wrong. It's not going to work properly. And then I'm going to die and everyone's going to be like, Grant does gaming. Why do you do these things to yourself? And the answer is, I don't know. I'm trying to be clever, but I'm fundamentally not. It's going to be rough. Or, or it's going to work great. We're going to have so much XP. I like that one. Let's, uh... Just go and go. Wait for medic number two. The doctor is in. The infested are heading to a settlement in the south. And we're gonna ignore it. As I said. We're gonna be like, wow, nice settlement. Get a bunch of XP up here. I didn't like that! <laughs> Land these. Okay. Took down the Ultra. 
That's important. And then, is there anybody, like, super, super worth? Yeah, let's go to Royal Academy. And then, we are going to have the Royal Academy guy just sit next to this to harvest XP as the infested come. So that he can level up faster than everybody else instead of sharing it. I like that strategy. Because the, uh, the firebat guys are actually really good. So focus on them first. It's going down. Now, what if we just left that alive forever? Now I'm getting into the, Grant, this is way too greedy and risky category. But what if I was way too greedy and risky and never cleaned this up? I mean... It could be a strategy. Let's get this upgrade. Get the fire bat. If this is just Giga Fortified, there's never going to be an issue, right? It'll just be a, a little a personal academy for individual guys. And medics as well. Yeah. Made for battle. It's what he said. Made for battle. It's got to be right. That's okay. No, sir. This is so, uh, let me just drop this, and we're going to make sure this is working right. Uh, all the infested are gone. <laughs> They're taking a break. Oh, hello, Brutalord. So as these get destroyed, yeah, it's not much, but it's an honest day's XP. Oh yeah, I'm like a farmer. And then hopefully we don't lose this. That's a lot of XP from that one too. This is great. It's brilliant. You guys go here, finish these things off. Pro try not to lose our Sky Furies. Let's guys over here. Repair, repair. Oh, hello. Could you not be a Broodlord? Jerk. Yeah, we gotta clear that area out for good. Whoa! Uh, infested rockets do a lot of damage. One of those things that you just have to learn over and over again because they don't do it in like any other version of the game, but this happens to be snapshotted in a weird, weird part of StarCraft history. Repair. Get these over. I'm just going to summon some Zerg here to distract so they stop killing my workers. Now, we do have to take this one down, I think. Probably. Seems like a good strategy. This guy's level two. When he gets to level three, he will swap with a medic, and then he'll come and fight with these guys. Oh, whoa! Planetary Fortress, go! Flamethrowers! The Zerg are helping! Thank you! You're very cool! Land! We're okay. More flamethrowers. I'm sorry, sir. But we've lost a second settlement to the Zerg. Oh no, no, no. Uh there's a couple guys there that I don't like. There we go, they're dealt with. Get everyone here. And you know what? We don't need extra gas. I forgot how aggressive this mission is on Nightmare. <laughs> Actually, I didn't. I said this one was a hard one going into it. But, uh, it is quite a mission, isn't it? We might need to make a lot of Marines. Oh, 
Chill. All right. We're the higher Keep these going together. Try not to take too much damage. Where's Broodlord? I think all the broods are gone. There we go. All the air has been dealt with. We can come in this way. Almost level three. You're the Royal Academy. Okay, we got the Royal Academy stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have the ghost unlocked, I think. Yeah, we don't. Because that would be really nice. This is done, and then we're going to wait for 500 for the Dogs of War call down. And we'll have probably two Force Conscriptions as well, which would be very nice. Sir, Stedman says Dr. Hansen has locked herself in the lab. Good, good. When we shoot Dr. Hansen, we'll get some XP. She's desperate to save her people. I'm worried about what she might do. There are no more Zerg left in that settlement. One, two, three, four, five. Me? Sure. Keep the gun dream alive. Traitor. I had a lot less money than I thought I did. Almost level 3 for just being AFK. I mean, what if we just kind of sat here? Oh. Okay, this is becoming a bit much from different angles. I have to be very careful. Also building those hatcheries just in the middle of the map. I don't really like that. Keep that fortified. The infestation's overwhelmed another settlement. There's no stopping this thing. Where's the other settlement? Hey, we dealt with those random brood lords. <laughs> Is it just this one? Okay, it's not a different one. That's good. So we can keep kind of moving this way. I like that they send the brood lords to the Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Do not. Hey, that's actually a fair version of mind control. Love to see it. There's counterplay. Let's do this. So we don't really have a reason to hold these abilities up anymore because it's a thousand for the next tier. It's a long ways away. Okay, this guy's level three. Now we'll grab these guys over here. Get them leveled up. Oh, oh. Take that down. Nice Prometheus company. And the, uh, the Prometheus company should be able to just destroy everything. He's amazing. That's full. Oh, you need to be full. There we go. And it's done so many infested. That settlement has been cleared of Zerg the thing is, it's a double. Well done, How much sir. damage does he do? He's he's so good. He's Kalatri. Yeah, right. Viking doesn't even believe it. More defenses. And use that as an XP farm. All these down here. Bring these guys to help out the fight. I'm going to hold up my uh, stuff just in case. Honestly, the really, really rapid start was so good. Just being able to take this down really early made this mission infinitely easier than it would have been otherwise. And I'm pretty happy with that. I wonder how the Nova mission will be. Another settlement is being infested by the Zerg. Yeah, we might do the Nova mission on this as well. Why not? We got time. <laughs> Those brood lords just keep coming back, don't they? Terrible idea. Why don't you just go over there forever? It seems to be that, uh... I'm not sure that these are getting more guys, though, are they? Yeah, no, it's just that first one is repeatedly getting stuff, despite the fact that all the buildings are gone. That Hercules is permanent, I believe. Yeah, it's not a it's not a clickable building. So I'm not entirely sure that's intended. I think that it's supposed to send reinforcement waves. If I had to make a guess, uh, when the buildings were not dead, but the uh, 
the Virophage is. Or even when the Virophage... Just whenever the Defenders are gone, I guess. But either way, it doesn't really matter that much. We are using the Infinite Conga line. Uh, this is not as XP efficient as I was hoping. It's kind of hoping for them to send more stuff more quickly. But really, really Zerg player's macro is lacking. Not to say that we don't have a bunch of three stars, so. And head on forward. Let's get uh, Prometheus in the front. I wonder if Prometheus can solo an Ultralisk. I bet he could. Let's just uh, get all the Banelings gone. Then blast through all of this. We don't have Nuker or anything available because we're very low on tech in this mission. So we can't just finish this off real easy. But as soon as we mowed through all of this, there's not going to be too much to worry about. Yeah, we can leave the Zerg to deal with the rest of those. We can head on over here. We can save Sky Fury. Alright, buddy. Hit level three. You did it! Certainly. Phoenix Protocol. Oh yeah, he like comes back to life. With his he gets a shield barrier. Because he's immortal like the Phoenix. You gotta kill him with spawn broodlings, otherwise he just keeps coming back. Easy mission. I will say, uh, compared to the Mothership mission, this was really easy. I, uh, may have had my hopes up, even though the Mothership mission was one that we approached and only took, like, 40 minutes. This took an entire 17, so... I have the, the difference in difficulty there a little bit off. Let's, uh, check out Ghost of a Chance, and then we'll be able to do, yeah, more Char stuff next time. Be cautious around missile turrets and ravens. They can detect Nova, enabling their allies to attack her. But, uh, this mission should be a blitz, right? Because we have Emperor's Shadow. Standing by. This isn't Nova. Talk to me. Oh. Who's resisting us today? Very different than I thought we were going to get. Okay, here we go. Stay sharp, boys. Target acquired. All right, just let that burn down. I don't know if that was a good use of our missile, but I feel like, oh, hello, they got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm I'm okay just keeping these guys nice and healthy. Interesting. I thought this was going to be an absolute destruction Nova event where the entire world gets destroyed by her going at Mach 30, but no, we actually are leveling up an Emperor's Shadow, which is very interesting. I like this. This part always feels reminiscent to the Dilarian shipyards to me. Okay, you're getting leveled up as well. And you're gonna just chill right here. Move up, get our vision. Her snipe is way worse than uh, Nova's. Like, way, way worse. 50 damage, 100 versus Psionic. Nova, you gotta get it together. I guess we can just use the Emperor's Shadow to tank at this. Well, uh, we can't turn her cloak off, can we? Never mind. Forgot about that. Oh, gosh. That wasn't ideal. Uh, do we care? Not really. There we go. Now she can tank. And she's very good at it. Only one armor, but just having a lot of HP makes things really easy. This gives Labyrinth Cloak, which is Super Cloak after being attacked. Sure. Keep giving these guys gun. Oh, we have Domination. Cool. Pulling the trigger like a goat. 
I think I've said this before, but the uh, high school mascot for my school were, were the goats. They uh, they were goats, like legitimate, just normal goats. Let's uh, take this down so that we can mind control someone else. And then mind control someone else. Yamato? Wait. <laughs> Do we have a global range anti structure nuke on this mission? Never took you for a traitor. I, I just kind of realized that, yeah, we could just sit AFK if we just keep getting charges of this. Uh, 10 seconds of Super Cloak is actually an incredibly long time. Did you know that? Because I just I just learned this. <laughs> the Raven just left. <laughs> like, oh, my job's done. No, it's not. <laughs> That's a lie. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I got bamboozled. LZ secured. You can begin your landing, Jim. Well, I guess that's the limiter. Is uh, I think there's supposed to be a time thing on the nukes, but uh, oh, we just get the medevax. That is the smartest thing I have ever seen. This is why Menx has an empire and Jim doesn't. Uh, maybe. Just drop Nova, then use the heal. I didn't know this hit non biological. Yeah, I guess it just burns everything. So, can we just. Target acquired. Oh no, it's got a range. I don't think it has a range indicator, but it has a range. Gates down. We can go this way. Uh, we got the red adders. Oh, this area is going to be a bit weird. Let's see. You guys this way. How about we come up here? I guess this is fine. The Emperor's Shadow is permanently cloaked. That's a good ability. <laughs> Executing. Orders received. Let you on fire. Come on over. On it. Life flight. Go. We gotta deal with the bonus objective. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you know, it feels right to deal with the bonus objective. On the move. Get those specters. Teach them who's boss. Uh, whoever this is, not Nova. Oh, you're up there. Sure. Pyrotechnic elimination! Or pyro... Pyrokinetic? Pyrochinetic? Why is it spelled chin? C-H-I-N? I love pyrochins. The flaming chin. Huh? Huh? Fire? Fire? Wait, they're immortal. <laughs> I don't think that's intended. Wait a moment. <laughs> sure. Um. I think these dropships are a little bit imbalanced. <laughs> Sure. Talk to me. Sir. Let's uh let's go. On my way. Confirmed. This is where you're supposed to fight from. Go. Like it goes to the fall. Follow my orders. Just like it was intended. <laughs> now what? <laughs> now why'd you have to go? You can tell that everybody likes specters better because nobody noticed this. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, that's hilarious. Fighter 
Well, we have a lot of elite stuff now. Oh, I forgot about those turrets. Whatever. Blast these. Oh, <laughs> so many of them. This is fine. I'll just take the damage. Sometimes it's all right to be lazy if the other option is to have to do stuff. That's a wise words from Giant Grant Games right there. Ooh, the stun. Ooh, the stun lasts a long time. Uh, that was a little spooky. We do have EMP Shockwave. So we can just disable those people. Wait, come back, come back. I want to fight. There we go. No more energy on that. I kind of don't like that they're taking my Emperor's Shadow energy. So, uh, I don't know how this nuke works, but I don't want to use it until I've used my other nuke, right? So I guess we're gonna... I guess we're just gonna figure this out as we go. You go this way. No, thank you. Good night. Why don't you just die? Okay, we're gonna go over here. And there should be one more guy over here. Okay. Then Wait, oh What? That's Nova? Oh, She's actually the hero. Oh, man. I was kind of... Well, that sucks. We got we got tanked. I know she was talking as Nova, but I was kind of hoping that we didn't have to keep it alive. Because it doesn't have, you know, the Dominion version of Nova's stats. It's kind of weird, now that I think about it, that you get Nova as an unlock on this mission. If you don't get Nova on the Nova mission. Like, do you know what I mean? If that makes any sense? Like, you play this mission and you don't use Nova. You instead use an Emperor's Shadow and then you unlock Nova by playing it. That must be really confusing if you play this mission first. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm just trying to rush through because I've seen it all already, but it's not working now because pain. Not being able to cloak with these guys is, uh, it changes things on the stealth mission. It makes them far worse. Okay. You know, we're just, we're just ground units today. Take that down. Alright, I remember how to play the game this time. Go over here. Not a problem. Let me just target this guy down. Then it's not a problem. Give me vision. And we go, ba 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 ba, get wrecked. Oh, they should all burn to death. Yeah, we just heard a big splat, so that should be, this should be what we need. I just want the Emperor Shadow to hit level three, and you are stealing her XP. Cool. Another nuke. Nice scan. Burn them. Okay, what do we get at level three? Yeah, it explodes. It. It's not that useful at this point. Copy that. I guess. Which way do we go up? 
Well, that's a cool explosion. We didn't really get to see this unit being used throughout most of the thing, so it's it's kind of nice getting to use it, actually. Uh, we got to use some of them on the Mar mission, but for the most part, this is this is it for it. This seems pretty strong. The EMP is really nice against Protoss. How much damage does the EMP do? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's stuff. We're heading back to Char next time. Peace.